So lots of materials today, a nice big piece of, of MDF board and young Abigail, 10 years old again, you remember Abigail from doing other paintings with me in the past, on her own today and we've got a big piece of board here, we've got some photographs ready, the space scenes and uh, various plates and things to start off with to draw around because what we're going to do Abigail is we're going to work out our composition first, whether we want meteors and whether we want comets and whether we yeah. want... And then when we've got the shapes worked out we can build up the textures and we're going to be using ordinary household filler, that's the white powder, with some PVA glue, that's the white woodworking glue, and that's going to make it more plastic so it sticks to this better, it doesn't peel off, you see. It's also very dungy. Yes, yes, that's right. Your, your friend before did use yeah. some of it, yeah. But it, it was a bit different. But I mean, this, 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 is, this is a bit more glue and a bit more... Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to the textures with that. We're going to let that um, dry. So you've got to use a hairdryer on it. Then we're going to paint the black emulsion over the whole thing. And then we're going to use the spray cans to actually make the shapes around and within these, these plates and shapes and tubes. Okay? Um, and that will give us fantastic effects. And then if we want to, we can always go back with brushes and just paint it in little details. Yeah. And we probably won't want to, so we'll paint a dragon or something, and we'll see what happens anyway. Yeah. We have enough of this. So we've got a busy day because of all the drying time in between. So we'll set the camera up and we'll try and describe to the viewers all you're doing today to produce your last picture before you go away to France. I'm still jealous that you went to America. <laughs> that was good, yeah, you must that. is look at some of these things. And as you just said, we need to know what we're going to finish with these. So we'll put these plates out of the way for the minute. That's it, get the biggest ones first. But anyway, chalk to draw with, that's all we're going to need today. Now let's have a look at the shape. I think let's start with whether we want a comet, because the comets are quite nice, aren't they? Yeah. I put that one in because of the tail, and I put that one in because of the head of it. But imagine the different textures we could do. We could build that one up with textures that are flaming out, couldn't we? I definitely want these two in. Yeah. Because that one looks beautiful. But that's more on effects, we can yeah. try them certainly, you can try them, might, might, might be doing those with a brush rather than the spray, but yeah. with all these effects we can use. First thing is to compose them, I think we're doing a bit bigger as they come towards us, so bigger, that's yeah. it, and a bit bigger again. And you said the sun then, now that's an interesting thought, like, the sun will be a source of light, Yeah. so shall we have that as a source of light? Yeah, yeah so we'll make that very bright, shall we? So that's going to be reflecting over everything, isn't it? We're going to join up to the, some separate, we've got some that are joining up to the sun. They're pointy ends at the ends, that's it. Big ones, small ones, different size ones. Now we have to make a decision, let put that back on the floor. Uh, now we have to make a decision as to which way the rings are going to come, because we've got all these angles to play with, haven't we? The rings can come that this way, way, that way, that way. That way's quite nice, wouldn't you think, that way? Yeah, that way. We've got maybe a few rings around here, so we've got to make some rings. We'll just make these rings from that. Mm. Oops. I went a bit... Because yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter, does it? But you see, yeah. the point is that it's not so easy as you at first thought, although it takes a bit more thought. You thought it was going to be just quick special yeah, effects. Yeah. Right. We're going to try and get different effects on all of these, and I'll show you how we do that as we go along. Right, next. Next. We have a lovely set, if we need them, of palette knives making different effects. So we'll put those over here. Oh, I think we'll go straight to the big one, but it doesn't matter which you do. I mean, let's get the big things out of the way and then we need them. Um, we're not going to be building them up too big. So yeah. we, we only want, oh, let's see, if I go back, that's about. So I'm just pouring in the filler in the bowl. And I'll show you about how much. Let's see, we're thinking that as being almost the same as that. So we've got, ooh, that, in, 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 in mixture, we need about two of those, don't we, for the whole yeah. thing. So I would think we're not far off at that. It's like, it will like rise when the glue comes with it. It's, like it's not like bread, it's not going to rise like yeah, bread. Yeah, it's not rise like <laughs> bread, not like no. bread. Right, oh, into that, poof. we want some PVA glue, polyvinyl acetate it's called, PVA. And that's me shaking up to get it going. I like making slime with PVA glue. I'm going to need a bit of water into that moment as well. And you've got to mix this by hand. We don't want too much water, it's getting it just right. So the glue is just to make it stick more. That should be plenty. We don't need a lot of glue, just about a handful of glue. Yeah. If we were measuring it by hand. That wouldn't be best uh, glue. We need some clean water a minute. Yeah. Cold water because warm water is going to make it go off quicker. We don't want that. Yeah. Now, Please. we're going to mix this gradually, so I want you to start mixing that. So a little bit my of water first. Yeah. I'm going to take that off. Yeah. If I can. So 
mix it right away to the bottom, that's it. And we gradually add the water, otherwise it becomes too liquid. You'd be oh, surprised, it doesn't take a lot of because that glue is going to make it go quite wet. Really so really, really mix it well and squeeze it there. Fingers. And mix it, squeeze it as well. That's right, like I that, mean. that's it. Squeeze it and mix it with your fingers, that's the way. Like it, it absolutely it filler. That's in better, now it's coming, isn't it? So stir it all around, that's to make sure it's absolutely mixed. You don't want any dry powder anywhere, and that's just about right. So no dry powder. This feels so weird. Watch me. With the side of my hand. Watch him? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Put it on like that at first. You see the texture we can get straight away. Yeah. And I want you at first just to smooth it on. I want to get this actually onto all of the board. So make sure it's sort of smoothed on like that. Now, once we've got it on there, just it's so going to work fairly quickly. Just just gently smooth it out with you with your fingers like that. This will get it started. But we've got to come down to all these. Now between my fingers, I can use my fingers look to make a point it on there. Don't waste time. Because we've only got about, you have about half an hour to get this stuff on before it starts to dry too much. Yeah. Yeah, it must be exact to those circles. Now well you're going to get used to it, that's what I say, you've got to use your fingers to squeeze it on. Now, first of all, make some make, put, put, first of all put your fingers on the board like this look just to get it started. Yeah? And then use it between your fingers to draw it out, squeeze it out like that between your fingers. You can see what I'm doing now. Now we're going to use this painting knife and uh, we dip it in water first so that it doesn't stick. We want to make, we've got our pecs here, there, right? that's alright, I've just been doing squiggies and that, you can do that in a minute, that's alright. And here, now we want this one a bit smoother. So you're going to use this knife, look, come gently around there, I want you to smooth all that. And it's going from the top, look, we're going up here, gently yeah. on there, and just smooth it into the edges like this, okay? You want to leave some of that texture you can. Yeah. Work from the outside inwards. That's like that, so that's the way, look. That's wonderful, Abigail. That's the least amount of texture. The texture's quite nice, isn't it? So, yeah. Not going to catch it. That's right. All right. Of course, now we're doing that. I think you play with some textures on here with this, or maybe dabbing it like that. You put more, more, more of these squiggles in. Get some really nice squiggles all through here. That's it. That's the better. That's lovely. Ten hours later. It could be a bit of time. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Right. Right, we're going to, we haven't got lots of spray cans that are working, so we're going to have to use paints with this. So it just shows you that even without the spray cans we can do special effects. So we're going to put our light colours on the white first in this case. So we're going to take the yellow, and wherever you want the yellow to be, we're going to paint that in really, really well. That's the way, right up to the top edge there, that's it, all the way around there, make sure there's plenty of paint, right at the top, there's not any big yellow areas anywhere. And it looks like, it doesn't look like... So the same left. thing now, but we're not going to lose all the orange, so just you have a bit more lighter over the surface. As this? Yeah, all the way across, right to the edges, don't leave the edges, that's it, not on the table, just on the edges, that's it, right. Don't get it all over the brush, just get it on the end of the brush. After this one, we're going to get it nice and evenly dry. Hopefully it won't take too long, because it's pretty fast. And I'm going to use that deeper purpley red. Yeah. Not on this one at all, it doesn't need it, but we are on this one, just to get, look at that, to get these lovely effects here. So I'm just going to come across it lightly. That's it right the way around, and then blending it across, just scumbling it over the top. We call it scumbling when you do that. That's it, all the way around there, get paint on your brush, and then just drag it so it blends in across the tops. And yeah, you can see, you can see that little bit of blue. So we're just going to bring some of that blue just across like little bits here and again a bit, a little bit of green to do as well. Some lovely effects. So these lovely effects we're getting. We're not even using the spray can, so this shows that the uh, viewers can do this themselves with just paints at home. That's all the way around. Watch, watch your mind. Dry brush means we're just using the tip of the brush with less paint. Drag over the surface like that, all right? Try that again. So no. drag over the surface, no. gently, gently, just the weight of the brush only. So you don't need to push at all, it just does it itself. You need to rub that back a little bit with our fingers, just to get that done. So off, off you go, so put that on your brush and that's just get it, get it going. Just it. Well, yeah, but, but not, not too heavily, just quite, you see what I mean, just, just sort of gently over the surface here. That's the way, all the way across and right out as far as you want it. So in other words, we can use it just to blend a bit. So I can bring it outwards and just blend a little bit as it comes out, just like rays of the light. So we'll do deep blue on that first. Find me a blue that we want for the, for the sea, then the blue for the earth. We could spray it 
Sorry, I put some. Um, we could actually, but I don't think we're going to need to on this one. Expensive paints these, so don't want to waste them. Now let's start with this one. And we want to get the effect of clouds and light around the edge of the planet. So I'm going to take this, we're going to use this with the spray later as well. I want you to go around the outer edge, just blending it around like this look. Yeah. Right? Just bring it in slightly and just blend, blend it around like that to get the edge of the planet. Just don't blend them in too much, just, just make definite, put some paint on your brush, put definite shapes in, you're going to lose it. Don't, don't paint it all the deep blue, just put the just shapes of things on there, just make up shapes of land or clouds, that's it like that. So we're using our paint with brushes first of all, and we're going to use spray cans at the very, very end. A sort of deepish green for that, but not quite. So a bit of this dark, this is, this is Prussian blue, it's a very deep blue. And a little bit, I think, of turquoise, should be nice. So just take a bit of that and mix it up, and that gives us this sort of lovely colour. And we should be able to paint some of the land in like that. So now you're going to make up the shapes of Africa or England or... Okay, America. next job is, I'd say we're, we're, we're working on Saturn still, we want to get some rings on that, so I'm going to take this colour and this one and mix them together to make a sort of mid blue with that, and the first thing I'm going to do is just gently, well we put the stripes that way don't we, so I'm going to just gently bring these just through here like this to make some stripes just across the texturing. I'm just going to bring a little bit of pink over the over this to really make it have a, a glow. That's it. So plenty of paint on your brush and we're going to make the end of the comet white and gradually bring it back. I'm going to put a little bit of this colour in a minute. So we're going to make this totally, almost totally white here. So you see the paint's still wet so it's not going to go quite thick to make this work here like that. And then a little bit of that colour as it comes back. You see it on there, yeah? And that comes in, where are we? There, look. Like that, back to here. And it gets less and less as we come down, so we'll get it lighter and lighter. That's the way, Abigail, that's it. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So let's come right round there. Just, we're gonna, just going to come round this a little bit to give the feeling of it motoring on out there. We're going to use the, the paint and the um, spray on this later. I just want to just carefully bring, put your hands over the picture, so look, yeah. you want to carefully bring some of this oranges just, just through here in, in little lines, oranges and yellows, so bring a few lines through here, and, and any other colours you want, do the same thing, so if you want a bit of yellow, don't overdo it, just, just bring them through, like I have it. see it's more, more in the centre isn't it? Yeah. Put the oranges on, and you want a bit of yellow, don't you? Alright, so just like I was showing you there, come across, and there's three, is there three, look at this, there's the three lines? Um. Four lines, you well, well, there's one really Strong yellow. Okay, there's well, one they come, in they the come middle. right up to here, don't they? So there's you, one in the middle you of the yellow. As you think. It's looking good. Right, so we'll take the big brush now and we're going to paint the whole of this. Now, it's a very sloppy brush, so we're going to have to be careful when we come to the edge. Use this brush to go around the big bits. Yeah, and then we'll, and then we'll use the other brush. Where is it? Um, no, there. Yeah. The other brush to finish off. So if we come around with this one, like that. And I want just to come up into this and just, you see I'm scumbling it in? Yeah. Just joining into the edges like that. So when we come up here it's going to come roughly into those edges. Maybe we'll make that one a red. Just a red. Yeah. With some green on it. So we'll do that in a minute. We'll do that with a brush in a minute. Paint, paint right over that one with the black. It's looking good. That comet. That's it. Just come into the edges slightly. There we go. That's it. Right round the edge, there we go, right round into that hollow. The rings of Saturn now, so we're going to move this dish gently downwards to get these rings. Um, I'll show you how it's going to go. And then you've got to go, this is control of the, of the can. If you press too hard or too close, it's not going to work. Can you do so this? Gently, well, watch what I'm doing, you're going to go. Spray, just at the edge of the plate, and we go just along the edge of the plate. See how very long the edge of the plate, just to the outside there, look. You see what I'm doing? Yeah? That's it. Now, we bring it down. You're going to be surprised when we see the effect. We pick it up and we bring it down a fraction. And we're going to try a different colour. It's this one. And again, it's the same. We're going along the outer edge, like that. Right to the edge of the plate, like that. And then we're going to do the same and you're going to do another red one. 
very, very carefully. So there you go. Just gently now. Don't press it too hard. Just gently aim, aim it plate at first. That's it. Then gradually come down. Come around the edge. That's it. There you go. Just little, little touches. And again, a bit more this side. Gently further away. Aim at the plate first and bring it down. There we go. That, that's good, Ali. Right, we'll stop. Okay. Going to come back again. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that fantastic, eh? Yeah. So we're getting the idea now, aren't we? Yeah. That will do that one, won't it? Okay, so that's got our rings of Saturn. Now, we want to get the effect of this white planet here. So black we... planet? Yeah. Well, it's white on the outside. That's the fact. Uh, what we're going to do... Uh, that one was that one, wasn't it? So we want... Yeah, it was that one and that one. Yeah, right, so we want to spray that one carefully with Wait, the white. No. What's your number? This one. Was, was it? Yeah. Was that narrower than this? No, that one was not. No, I'm trying to, you don't know what you're doing. Just yeah. watch what I'm doing. Yeah, but thanks. Right, so first I want to spray it with the white. So we're just, I'm just going to show you how these effects work. So we're going to spray the centre of that from a distance. Look at, this, look at the star, star effects we're getting now, yeah? Wow. I'm going to let that trickle, that star. Let those spread a little bit over. I'm going to use the, the other one for that in a minute as well. Stars. Right, so, yeah, we've got stars, stars there. And now we're going to take this to there, and I want you to use the black in the centre of that. That's not the black that I've got you. Don't be it too close, that's it. Now we're going to cut, cover that one, so get it in the right place, right through a nice spot of black. Well, well that's it, well, well, well. put it down, put it down, pick up the, the dish. Ooh! Wow, you see what I'm getting at now? Yeah. It? You, you follow my instructions, we're going to get there. Um, now, we want to uh, make this, this lighter here, so what, what, we had a big plate for that, that was the biggest plate for that, wasn't it? It, it was. That one, right. So now, we want that sun to be lighter on the outside edge. Take the white. Where's the white? That's it, and I want you to spray up and around this edge. That's it. A bit more, all the way around the edge. All the way around the edge, right round to the top. Keep going, right round to the top there. Come and more around the top, as you have here. Make the same as here, look. More around the top. Right up around the top. Now, this is the next bit. This is the bit we've got to be gentle with. So now, much more gently, we're going to bring that white outwards and just mist it. Little, look, see the little strokes I'm doing? Just going to mist it out at the edges here. Can you do that? Mist it out all the way around there. <laughs> Good stuff, you just get high on this. That's it, right around the edge, all the way around the edge, that's great, all the way around the edge, right around that edge, back to the top, especially on that bit there. Yeah. Right, okay, put it down, lift up the plate. Wow. You see what we're doing now, yeah. don't you? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Dad, come and look! Yeah. Right, next. We're going to go back to this planet. Where's the one for that one? Uh, that one, it's the bowl. Right. Ooh! Whoa! Now, what do you think of that lot? That's good. Isn't it? Right. This is like the last thing. Now, this one, what are we going to do with this one? I um, think we were going to paint that red, weren't we? We use this red for it. Yes. So we need to find now a tube to go around there. Yeah. Okay, I just want you to spray that not too heavily. No, don't miss. That's it. Make sure you get it in the right place. Right, all, all, all round it now, come on. That's the stop, 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 stop. Now use your fingers to rub it away. What? Quickly! Fingers, rub it away. That's on the surface. That's it. All over, all get the texture look. Right round to you. Oh it's difficult, isn't it? Go on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, take it away now. Ooh. What do you reckon? Not so good? Yeah. A bit more green or a bit more red over it? A bit more yeah, red over it. Yeah, more red. So we'll go back again and put a bit more red on there. It's a touch. That's good. Stop. No, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. Right, this one's the next one, the earth. We want a lighter ring around that, so we need something to cover that earth. There we are, look. So we can look at that, that's got a lovely feeling of roundness. Let me just bring that really near a bit more, just to get this effect of the sun glowing down onto here. This is far nice too. We can make a dark ring around here a bit more. We could put a, a larger pot on there. We've got one that will just fit in with that. Um, well, we use that one. What about this one? The, the cost. Yeah, 
Just put a slightly darker ring around the outer edge. Not too much, just a light spray. Go on. No, 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 let's just do it. No, against the jar more. Don't make these blobs. That's better. All the way around. Go on, move around quickly. Don't, don't, um, don't, don't cover it completely. Just, 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 um, just a gentle spray. Don't lose all that white. Oh. That looks like the planet Earth now, doesn't it? Yeah. Because now we've got the, we've got the, um, the oxygen around here. Yeah. Oh, give us a minute. I think I breathed it too much. It's a little bit, whatever you think this Mr. Black needed, look, do it now. Because I think we next need to... Just want to pull it together a bit more. It's a little bit too separated. That's better, you think? Yeah. Do we need any more colour on it? Was it alright like that? It's alright like this. Get that oval dish again. That one. This one. That, the oval, oval dish. What's, what's an oval? Oh, that That's one. It, yeah. I just lay it over the rings of Saturn again. A bit lower down. That's it there. Well, that's it. I just want to just put a few little line of right, see what that does. It might, it might be no good if it is, we'll have to change it again. But well, that's quite nice. That looks nice. This, that point. I think we're done. Right, now we need some varnish. It's gonna take a lot of varnish there. Got a lot of good in the Are you happy with that? Yeah. It's pretty effective, isn't it? Yeah. It's your first ever space one. You're taking this to school, you say, didn't you? Yeah, because we're lying about space. Oh, well. But I didn't do the wolf one. There we are. Next big finished painting. It's amazing. Yeah, I like can't the... get over that she can do this. And the textural effects. And she's done some yeah. lovely paintings in the past, hasn't she? Yeah. And she says her friends keep coming up to her school and have seen the, the YouTube and they're saying what a great artist she is. They are. There's, there's even was walking home from school and this girl that had left the school last year it even said oh you're good at art and then walked off so <laughs> she's getting known in the area I'm famous but you enjoy it don't you you do like your best friend's dad's got his painting hanging pride of place in the front room haven't they yeah yeah